afternoon. I can't get over that spider story. Here's a live look uh, in Springdale over I-49. Let's go check in with Matt for a look at the forecast. Matt, you've been talking about how hazy it is out there mm. from those wildfires. Just can't believe the air quality. Yeah, I want to show you the map. This shows you where we are tracking that smoke, and you see where three of the largest fires are taking place in Canada. Now, just for a stat, this far into spring and getting closer to summer, we're already want, running about 20 times more acres burned in Canada than they're normally at. We've been pretty dry. They've been pretty dry as well. And so now the wildfire season has started earlier. You also see some fires out in the Rockies, but these aren't really putting out too much smoke as these ones and towards the east and parts of Quebec that have been bringing some of that smoke. Now that north wind that's been dragging the past couple of days keeps funneling it right to New York City. That's why the eastern seaboard, we're getting those pictures and videos. The air quality alerts are crazy. The air quality alerts go all the way west to Chicago and St. Louis. Uh, but here at home, we're right on the edge of the wildfire smoke. And most of the smoke for us is a couple thousand feet into the air. The smoke out towards the east is not. Some of it is thousands of feet in the air but a lot of it's right on the ground where we live. And so that's why it's be very tough for folks to breathe out there today. But here's a loop over the next 24 hours. Where are we going with the smoke? The fires continue to burn. They continue to send that smoke south. However, we may notice a little bit more of a southwesterly trend. That's probably going to start to impact Buffalo, Cleveland, and Detroit, and eventually Chicago with more of that heavy smoke, maybe giving New York City a little bit of a break. We can see it here at home. The smoke is really broken up by the time it gets this far south. So we're lucky. This is a closer look at tomorrow. We could have a little bit of extra haze, but I think it's more in northeast Arkansas. They'll have the most smoke from the natural state's perspective. This evening, we're tracking a couple storms, though. Not too much smoke, a little bit out there, but it's not really impacting our weather. A couple downpours here and there. Nothing is severe at this time, but you could get a quick splash and dash, although I think the majority of us are dry. We're running in the 80s right now. A little bit of a north wind across northwest Arkansas is 85 in Bentonville, a little bit warmer in Fayetteville, sitting at 88 degrees south. We've got some 90s on the map. Now in Fort Smith, we were approaching 90, but we just had a quick shower push on through. In fact, we got a little bit of the rain still falling in parts of Fort Smith, so we've now cooled to 83. But you get outside of Fort Smith, we're back in the 90s in LaFork County, Pirate Country, we're sitting at 90 degrees in Poto. So it's warm, it's humid. Maybe you get a shower to cool you off. Just watch out for a stray shower in the mix with the partly cloudy skies the next several hours across northwest Arkansas. In the River Valley, we may still in the 80s, stay in the 80s all the way through 9 o'clock. It may not be until 10 o'clock we finally get towards the 70s. Wake up tomorrow morning at Thursday morning. Meteorologist Zach Scott, he'll show you elevated rain chances for your Thursday. This evening, we only have a couple, but tomorrow, I think we'll have more. Our full cold front is finally making its way towards us in Rolla right now, just outside of St. Louis. It's going to start to arrive tomorrow, bringing heavier rain to Highest rain chances will be farther north and east, closer to Beaver Lake. Here's a look at future cast. I'll show you some of those rain chances tomorrow. We got a couple pop ups this evening, but then north winds continue to come in with that cold front. I think we start dry tomorrow. It should be a nice start, but then we're going to watch more of those pop ups later into the day, and they may continue on and off for, for quite some time. So we have a higher risk of uh, some of those storm chances tomorrow, and the humidity keeps going up. The front that hits us tomorrow is just not strong enough. We got another cold front that hits us on Sunday, and that's going to help drop temperatures and lower that humidity. So it may be still a while before you get that that sense of some cooler air in northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. But essentially what you need to know, we keep bouncing around 80s and 90s, mm. more warm. Yeah, until weather. this time next week when we're baking. It's going to be hot next week. It's going to be hot next yeah, week. Yeah, it is. At least with the bad air quality, I mean, it's not like baking here right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Sure, that's it good could point. be worse. It could yeah. be worse, yeah. All right, Matt, thanks. Well, one of the world's most famous athletes headed to the U.S. Closer look at Lionel Messi's decision to join the MLS.